are you stuck in your house with nothing to do? Erin is here to bake with you. Quarantine Baking with Erin. Hi, and welcome to Quarantine Baking with Erin. Today, we are going to be making jam and custard tarts. I am really excited. Uh, Michael got me uh, the tart tins for Christmas, I believe. And I thought, ooh, I'm finally gonna get to use um, my pie beans that my friend Caitlin got me for my birthday. But this recipe doesn't involve a blind bake and I'm going to follow the recipe because that's what I'm doing this year. Um, also, I have some, I mean, it's not merch because I'm not selling it, but I have an apron with my name on it. My friend Bergie uh, got me this for my birthday. I love it. And then I got another apron for my birthday, which will appear later. So we're gonna have a two apron show. Um, I am cook, I'm working from the Downton Abbey cookbook. I was talking to somebody and they were like, what's been the best thing about 2020? And I was like, I, I finally watched Downton Abbey. Uh, that was a really huge highlight of my November. So we watched Downton Abbey. It's great, glorious. My Aunt Jane got me this cookbook for Christmas. I'm, can you tell I'm just excited to make these little tarts? Okay, so to get started, we are going to uh, combine a cup and a half of flour. I pre-measured it. I didn't just, you, I, you know, use, I used this instead of this. Learning. Um, okay, cup and a half of flour, and then a half teaspoon of salt. Um, okay, so we're gonna mix that together. And then, I guess all the flour need to come out. And then we're going to take six tablespoons of butter. This, I am gonna deviate from the recipe. It says cut into cubes, but I have found that grating butter um, is faster and I like it more, and so that's what we're gonna do. This butter might not be cold enough. So I'm grating the butter. I could have done this before, but I didn't. I'm doing it now. It also is, I don't know, I like it because it looks like it's mozzarella. It's not, it's little strings of butter. What a wonderful world we live in. Now to get all the butter out of here. You, this is a health food, as you can tell. It's not health food. It's a happy food. Okay, good enough. So I'm going to mix this together. And probably use my pastry. Smasher. <laughs> oh, these, are, I think these are both called pastry cutters, this one and that one. Um, pastry chopper. Do the job off. Um, and then I'm going to be adding a couple of tablespoons of iced water depending on how depending on how much we need to make this a good consistency so we'll start with one we'll probably need three to five tablespoons ice cold water just keep the ice in it and i will start with two chop, 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 chop. and we're about to get a blizzard which is, I mean, I feel like in quarantine, so much of what is going on with me is the weather because I can't go anywhere but outside. It's like kind of exciting to have a blizzard. I'm going to get to look at some geese in the snow instead of 
geese in the not snow. So big things happening over here. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see. Work in the butter until the mixture is the consistency of breadcrumbs. Add three tablespoons of the water and stir and toss until the dough comes together in a rough mass. That's what your directions say. So I'm going to keep adding water until we get a rough mass. Basically until it's a ball. I think if I were making this last year, I would have just done it in a, what's the whirly thing called? Food processor. Um, but I'm following directions and I'm trying, you know, to emulate Mrs. Pat Moore, who's the cook from Downton Abbey. If you're not up to speed on that wonderful British television show. Um, and she would have been afraid of a food processor. What's going on with you, Michael? I feel like this is taking longer than anticipated. Anything new to you? No, not really. <laughs> no, the days keep happening. Yeah, that's, that's, yep. It's a good day. It's a good day. work on this and we'll see how long it takes me to get this together. All right, so um, we have a rough mass that is rolled into a ball. I'm going to put it in plastic wrap. Kind of a new development. Minerva has been deciding that she wants to be talking all the time, especially when I'm on a Zoom call. She likes to be in the, a different room for me and just meow until I come and pet her. Alright, so how are we going to do this? Circle cutters. And that and mason jar lid would work. Oh, going too tiny. Okay, hold on. Michael, will you give me a. Alright, so we're using the ring from the top of a Hagen Dogs ice cream lid. Let's see if that works. just gonna have to do. Do I need a 
like a little bigger. I don't know. Just pinch it and press it up. Two sides. Downton Abbey little recipe book, cookbook, the thing that I'm, this, <laughs> it gives you more information about um, each recipe. So these would probably be eaten by servants who wanted to use the crust from something else that was made for the upstairs people. And so it was a good way to make sure that you weren't wasting and pressed because you know waste that one up um okay so i'll just keep doing this because it's boring and we'll check back in when we hear this cat all right so um we rolled we cut Michael with the beef um so we're going to take our little tarts and put them in the fridge for 30 minutes and while we're doing that we'll start making the custard oh 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 right <laughs> i don't know why i'm stumbling over my words uh we're gonna preheat the oven to 400. um that's interesting the downton the downton abbey cookbook was surely made for americans because it's all in not you know it's in fahrenheit not celsius interesting um that's not important at all okay so i have a cup and a third of milk that i am going to heat in this little saucepan to make the custard i'm going to heat it on medium high medium heat um i'm going to try and not just <laughs> cook everything as quickly as possible and i'll well, make sure that i don't boil the milk or make it bad Okay, and then I have four egg yolks that I am going to whisk together with a quarter cup of sugar. And so what we'll do is we will slowly transfer the hot milk into egg mixture, but we have to do it slowly so that you don't accidentally cook the eggs and get scrambled eggs and that would be sad. And so we're going to heat the milk until um, it starts to just boil. So it'll get, it'll start to bubble around the edges. Um, I, don't, I don't know how long that'll take. It could be it could be one minute or it could be five. So I don't have enough stuff to talk about. So I am I think we're pretty close to there. There are bubbles appearing just around the edge of the pan and you can the milk is thickening because it's like a delay when you swirl it. Alright, so we are going to slowly combine this with the egg yolks. So just a little bit at a time and whisking. Um, there are two ways you can, there are actually a couple of ways you can make this. You can just make the custard and you can um, put fresh fruit down into the pie crust and put the custard on top. You can make the custard with the jam in it, but what we're going to do is have custard and bake it and then put jam on top at the end. Uh, if I were really ambitious, I would make jam, but that's not going to happen. So, we have a couple of 
different jam, so we'll get all kinds of different tarts. I'm going to now slowly pour this in um, with my lobster claw. Let's see how this goes. I think you're supposed to put in a quarter teaspoon, but let's be real. We're gonna put in that much. Michael just made a face as if I thought I was being fairly conservative. Um, oh, it smells so good. Okay. Uh, now we're going to pour the custard into the pie tins. Tart tins. So it's supposed to be about two tablespoons in each. So I'll put two tablespoons in the little tiny guys and then just pour the rest into this big guy. All right. Okay, let's do this carefully. spillage. I don't know why I am not steady handed. And then these are kind of scant two tablespoons, so I'll probably add a little bit more to each. So, some for you, some for you. doing this and then I gotta not knock it over when I take it to the oven. Alright. I'm really excited. I don't think I've ever eaten a custard tart before. Alright. Let's see how. is that a blind bake would help so maybe but I don't know we'll find out so we're gonna bake for 20 minutes so this is another wonderful birthday present from Tony and I love it I, it's from both of my I love that it's yellow. I love aprons. Happy girl. Um, okay. Let's go more than I Ooh. All right, I'm gonna take it out. Let's see. It's not quite full. It's start, the custard's starting to brown a little bit. Um, I'm gonna say two more minutes. Maybe I'll have to take the smaller ones out first. That would make more sense. But they would bake it a different rate there. Why didn't you think of that? Um, all right. I'll give the little ones two more minutes and we'll check back in. All right, let's see. How's 
our wobble situation. Alright, just a tiny wobble. me that it was totally okay to use store-bought jam because it would be extra extra special if it was homemade jam but that's that's not gonna happen I'm just putting my cute jam on top Michael how do, how do you feel about this jam to custard ratio Whatever you want is what I want. <laughs> All right, let's eat it. All right, so we are going to cut this in half. Chris. Look at that, this thin layer of custard right there, and then jam. All right, how to, look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. So it doesn't seem soggy at all? No, we do not have a soggy bottom. All right. I'm just gonna take a bite, you ready? Mm -hmm. Incredible. Look at the flaky layer, it's delicious. Alright, my turn. Yeah, um, yeah, not soggy. Mm. I told you. That is special. And the jam's really good. Mm -hmm. It's a new jam, so very exciting. Wow. Um, I'm gonna give this. What would you give it? I would give it a 10 out of 10. I think I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It's perfect. Bye. Well, are you stuck in your house with nothing to do? Erin is here to bake with you. Quarantine baking with Erin. <laughs>